Hello companions, this is Jensen Vars. We're going to take a look at how you can manage character sheets from tabletop RPGs in the POM Companion app. So let's get going. For starters, the easiest and most simple way to track your character notes is in the journal area. Simply open your character and you can always um, type here right away your stats. You can use markdown shortcuts to organize your information and put things like strength, age and dexterity, six. I know that's a boring, plain, simple way, but believe me, it can get you far in some simple tabletop systems. You can then use the dice roller and do the math manually by yourself based on what you're using. That's it. The method number two would be to upload a PDF. This is okay if you want to do it a few times, but it can be tedious in the longer run. Essentially, you click this button, you navigate to the PDFs that you have in your computer or device, and then essentially load that from the PDF file. Let's say I have five parsecs from home. I go to the typical sheets PDF that the games have and click on it. And then this pop-up will show up and it will let you choose which page of that PDF you want to bring. In the case like this where a PDF has more than one sheet, you'll have to do it once per page. Once you upload it, that you have it. It's a PDF converted image sheet. I would need to repeat the process, but I'm not going to do it now. For the example, that is sufficient. Once you have a character sheet loaded in your character, the easiest way to edit it is click it and it will open in the image editor. Here, if you're on Windows, you can simply press right click to shortcut a text. This is very simple, then you can accommodate and resize the things as you wish. The same applies for things like stats. You can also click on this text button here and then place the weapon here and uh, then you will have to adjust the text to the sheets. Very conveniently you should know that this copy button here is available for you because it will make a copy very nearby of the same size and format and it's gonna save you a lot of time when you want to create the character sheets. If you have the widgets optional add-on, you can use things like the number counter to have specific numerical trackers for the things over there. Assuming you have placed the basics of your character sheets, once you save it, you're gonna see the changes here and remember you can resize this view so you can very quickly check the latest state of your sheets. You can also right click on them or open on the menu and press pin viewer. This is gonna open a floating window with that page. So whatever or regardless of what you're doing, at any time you can click here and open that sheet very quickly and conveniently. The third method when it comes to managing PDFs and character sheets is by using the compendium PDF holder. Compendium entities have the feature that support entire PDF books in them. This is very convenient because if you press on the PDF here and instead you load, for example, the five parsecs sheet PDF that we used before, or even the entire book if you wish, the entire PDF is gonna be loaded in this entity here. So you're gonna be able to navigate all of it. What's most conveniently about the PDF viewer is that you can toggle the layout, for example, and then be able to see one more more than one page side by side at the same time. This is super cool because when you use this button of extract sheet over here and if you let's say zoom in to the pages you want to extract, you can extract sided pages as an entire sheet. So you can press here extract sheet. It's gonna ask you to which character you want to send it to. In this case I'm gonna choose Felsa and then Felsa will contain the entire double page sided character sheet loaded at once. Why is this convenient? Well, for starters, you don't need to load or look for the PDF each time. You will have it always here in the entity of the compendium available, so you can use it many times. 
then you can extract these sheets and put them directly in the characters you want. It also has that feature of double-sided image extraction. Last but not least, make sure you understand how templates work, because for example, you can take this character sheet we worked on very briefly, right click on it, press create template, my character template, oops, and you're gonna be able to template that specific character sheet by having it available here. Essentially then you do it as easy as pressing this middle button here and load that character template, which is gonna bring that exact same sheet to this new character. This is the fastest way you get of playing with character sheets. You just create this kind of character sheet once, you template it, and then you bring it to all of your characters as you wish. That is a compendium, sorry. Make sure this is only on characters, so in characters you will be able to see this. Cool, the last format of all is the template for an entire character. Let's assume you have a mix of a template based on text here and also character sheets and a bunch of images and you say, hey, I want this character to be an example character for all of my characters. Then if you go back to the overview and open the menu here, you can press create template at a character level. My full character. This allows you essentially to add new characters and have that full character as a starting point. Which is gonna bring all your journal notes and their own subsections of journals. Cool. Pretty comprehensive look into how to manage character sheets. If you have any questions, drop a message below in the YouTube channel or join us on Discord. This is Jensen Vars and until the next one, bye bye.